What up guys, Jared K Drip Mode. And first, Happy New Year, Happy 2019. And with that being said, I've updated a couple of things as you saw the intro, right? Like the intro, I updated. It's no longer Drip Around My World because it's no longer about me vlogging, me traveling around the world. It's more about me building dials, repaints, toy reviews, just anything related to this toy uh, collection that I have here. This is going to be my first dial for 2019. Bam! So this is Ken and Rao. This is Fist of the North Star. So if you guys know about this, you guys are going to love this. So this is Ken. This is Rao. These guys are brothers. I think it's called Toys. I think that's how you say it. I'm not so sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. These are actually pretty old already. Um, they're badass. And there's two, if you guys are, are getting, if you guys are curious about this line of toys, there's a, uh, another series, I've had these guys for quite some time, I just never really had time to focus on them, but um, he's actually new, I was able to get him at an auction, and I've been having him since, since, the, since the late 90s, and these guys, I got them in the early 2000s. So, so yeah, so this is actually an anime that I grew up with, including with Akira, this is the next uh, lineup that I want to build a dial for. All right. So, uh, not to spoil it to you, but at, towards the end of the movie, these guys go at it. And they go at it hard. They're like punching each other and everything. This is the first time I've ever seen blood in this magnitude. These guys, they, they just they punch each other or they pressure point each other. And all of a sudden, they just blow up. Like They just start blowing up and it's gushing blood. And it's like martial arts versus the wild wild west in a world that kind of reminds me of Mad Max. It's, it's just it was freaking cool at the time that I saw when I was a little kid, and I was really into it. So my idea with this um, dial is that I want to build that final battle scene. So I want to build the scene of desert, broken buildings, debris, columns, of, you know, maybe a fence, and then a picture of the environment in the background. So that's my, that's my idea for this dial. Foam. Now I'm using this type of foam. This is Project Foam. You get this at Home Depot. It's an insulation board. Uh, it goes for five bucks a sheet. They're pretty big. Black acrylic paint, white acrylic paint. Like a yellow mustard, spicy berry red. This is whole red paint. You notice this is acrylic airbrush paint right here, right? Boom, an airbrush machine. I've been wanting to learn how to use an airbrush. So this is gonna be my first attempt using this wire ribbon, but I love the texture of this. This is gonna be for the fence. A balsa wood dowel stick here, whatever you wanna call it. So these are the materials I'm gonna to use to build this dial. So hopefully you guys like At this effect, all I'm doing is I'm using this uh, wood cutter and a ruler. Just start adding little defects like cracks, <clears throat> and it gives it. A little bit more life, a little bit more realism. That it's old, you know. Depend depending on how much, what kind of look you're looking for, you can put as much detail as you want. Look at that. So you can add as much as you want. Pretty cool. But I don't want to have it installed on the actual dial, so I kind of want to have it like kind of like an add-on. But I wanted it to be flexible, you know. 
and I'm kind of spreading it out because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to this debris to kind of form this way on top of this. So I'm going to keep repeating this process until I get like a nice little mountain. It's like I'm salting the debris with this mixture that I made. So it's kind of like, you know, adding uh, glitter. But instead I'm adding like dirt. So as you can see, everything's already primed. Um, all of these parts are movable, so this doesn't have to be this way. I could I could set it up as many different ways as I want. So yep. So I'm gonna get to it today. This is what I'm gonna get into: uh, doing some base painting, doing some dry brushing, and now that I got an airbrush, I'm gonna experiment with the airbrush and see how I could. Uh, add some more details to this um, to this build polypro mesh ribbon and it has this cool pattern look at that so what I'm thinking about is making a fence that goes across this area so here you go here's an example so this is what I'm gonna do see so I probably won't put an additional tie wrap in the middle but it's a, it's a good way to create the fence So I just realized I deleted all of the painting process up to the airbrushing. Pretty pissed. Um, <clears throat> so I apologize, guys. The clips that are missing is basically how to apply the paint on the desert, on the walls. The walls are mostly dry brushing, but the actual ground of the the actual desert. All it is is a mixture of the red first, then mixed it with the mustard yellow, and then once that's dry, do dry brushing. And ugh, I can't believe I just deleted all that footage. So right now where we're gonna pick up is where I'm done with the dry brushing, I'm done with applying the paint to the desert, and then I'm now I'm starting the airbrushing, adding a layer of, of detail using the airbrush we stuck I still got that footage <laughs> sorry about that guys All right, so as you can see faint really faintly just kind of adding a little bit of brown to give it that desert feel. pretty cool so keeping it white but Giving the base a little bit more color. <clears throat> Can be improved with the airbrush, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, um, to the wall here, like this, again, it's a desert, so when you're in a desert, you're gonna get walls that are stained. Like, these walls are too pretty, right? These walls are actually way too pretty for it to be desert. So I gotta add a little bit more of that color. Again, I'm practicing, and obviously, um, <clears throat> the more practice, the better I get at this, but i um, trying to understand how it, how it works, and then trying to figure out how to paint these things where it doesn't seem I'm just using it just to use it. Just try to accomplish the look of it of sand just hitting it hitting like the sand hitting the pavement for a very long time this is old this is armageddon it still has the, the color of the structure but it, you see the sand is kind of just
everything's dry. Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a black wash. <clears throat> but I'm. It's, these are really watered down because once it dries up, you know it doesn't. It doesn't really like it, inside of the crevices. It stays, but it runs like because it's watery. It dries up, but it adds the texture, and you can see right there. Look at all that beautiful texture. That looks so real. Oh, so amazing. I'm also black washing over the airbrush. It shouldn't be the final application. It should be a part of the layering. So if you want to do some nice blending of, of, of colors, yeah, use the airbrush for sure. Uh, but then I, that's, not the, that's not the last part though. You know, so what I'm, as you see me doing right now, I'm just putting a black wash on things that I feel like that need detail or need need to calm down some of the of the obvious uh, sprays trying to bring out those details so look when I wet it you see those details a lot more visible so again I'm just spreading it as, as much as I can it's really really watered down black pretty badass it's almost, it's almost like a wood finish, <laughs> but uh, it helps, it helps a lot, it helps a lot. So it's a constant, it's a constant battle between dry brushing and and um, and washing. So next up, well, I printed this picture of the apocalypse, um, and then I'm gonna paste it on here, and this will be the backdrop. the final fight with Ken and Rao and everything's just start going starts going to shape because their strength is so strong that it's destroying everything around them see Jagged Jagged is trying to take ownership of Fist of North Star so they made a statue of him he did he knocked the statue down so that's why I have that little reference it's not the fist of the North Star My brother Jaggy always did have a glass jaw. So yeah, this is Fist of the North Star, guys. Um, and this is a more of a. I grew up with these watching this anime. Besides Akira, I would watch Fist of the North Star. So yeah, that's it, guys. I think um, that's all I gotta say about it. It was a pretty fun build. This is my. This is the first build for 2019. Pretty excited about it. Um, Thank you very much, guys. Uh, please write a comment, like, and please subscribe. Later, guys.